हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ प्रतीक विजिटिंग प्रोफेसर लैमडा लैब तलवीव यूनिवर्सिटी इजराइल प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग थापर यूनिवर्सिटी पटियाला इंडिया इन दिस सेशन वी विल सी द डेमोस्ट्रेशन ऑफ गूगल्स वॉट इफ टूल ऑन केस स्टडी फॉर कंपेरिजन ऑफ इनकम क्लासिफिकेशन ऑन यू सी आई सेंसेस डेटा सेट लेट स्टार्ट दिस डेमोस्ट्रेशन इन ऑर्डर टू गेट द यू आर एल फॉर दिस डेमोस्ट्रेशन यू कैन सिंपली गूगल वट इफ टूल टर्म आउट द फर्स्ट लिंक इज अबाउट वट इफ टूल दिस पेज इज मेंटेन बाय पीपल प्लस ए आई रिसर्च ग्रुप ऑफ गूगल लेट्स ओपन दिस पेज दिस इज द होम पेज ऑफ वट इफ टूल टू वर्क ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर केस स्टडीज we simply need to click on this demos link under this we have web demos and this is the case study on which we have to work in this session it is about compare income classification on uci census data set in this case study we will compare two binary classification models that predict whether a person earn more than 50k dollar a year or not based on their census information and we have to examine how different features affect each model's predictions in relation to each other in order to play with what if tool on this preloaded trained data model we simply need to click on this particular link this will load the what if tool with desired data set so you can see that what if tool demo for two binary classification for predicting salary of over 50k for uci census income data set has been loaded you can clearly see that all the data point has been classified into two classes blue data points indicates predicted salary less than 50k while red data points indicates predicted salary more than 50k what if tool has three important tabs first is data point editor second is performance and fairness and third is features at this point we are in data point editor tab Here we have a option to visualize data points and partial dependence plot. We can visualize or analyze any particular data point by selecting any data points. So let's click on this data point. You can see that the selected data point is 2. Since there are two binary classifiers who are working on this particular data sets, that's why you can see the predictions by model 1 and model 2. Model one is predicting the salary less than fifty k with a score of point six zero one, while model two is also predicting the salary less than fifty k with score as point six one four. So both the classifiers are predicting the salary less than or equal to fifty k. In this interface, we can see the details about all the attributes and their corresponding values for the selected data point. Here, the selected data point is two. the age of the person in the selected data point is 28 capital gain is 0 capital loss is 0 it has the information about education education numbers r per week and so on these are the values for the selected data point you know that we can change the value of any particular attribute and we can analyze the predictions on the new input values or updated values let's change r per week from 40 to 80 let's see the predictions made by our model we have simply increased the rs per week from 40 to 80 by keeping all values same so let's generate the predictions so these are the updated values generated by model you can see the predictions for model 1 has been changed the model 1 is predicting salary greater than 50k now for model 2 still the prediction is less than or equal to 50k with score 0.525 so this way we can compare the performance of both the classifiers by changing the value of any particular data point you know that we can simply undo the changes by click on this particular icon so let's perform undo and r per week has now become 40 Now let's generate the counterfactuals for this data point 136. Here the predicted salary is again less than or equal to 50k with score 0.585 and let's generate its nearest counterfactual. In order to generate nearest counterfactual we just have to enable this option. Let's enable this. Now you can see that the nearest counterfactuals for data point 136 is 290. 
these are their details for model 1 the predicted class is 0 with predicted survey less than or equal to 50k with score 0.585 and model 2 is also predicting the salary less than 50k with score 0.68 for data point 136. The nearest counterfactual is data point 290 and you can see that for data point 290 the model 1 is predicting the class 1 with salary more than 50k with score 0.541 while model 2 is still predicting class 0 with score 0.514. So counterfactual in this case is actually generated on the basis of model 1 and and there is a change in the prediction from class 0 to class 1 in case of classifier 1. In order to analyze these data points further, let's see their corresponding values. So these are the nearest counterfactual point. Here data point 136 has a salary predicted less than 50k while data point 290 has salary predictions more than 50k and you can also see from these these two highlighted data points so these are the nearest counterfactuals which are generated by this what if tool let's perform their analysis the age of the person one is 36 while the age of person two having salary more than 50k is 42 there is a difference in the age all other attributes are same there is a difference in the r per week There is a difference in occupation. So all other attributes are same and, and from this way we can perform analysis that whether the counterfactuals generated by our models are satisfactory or not. Let's generate counterfactuals for this data point. Here the selected data points are 9 and 495. Let's see their score first. For data point 9 the class is 0 means predicted salary is less than 50k with score 0.961 model 2 is also predicting same the salary is less than or equal to 50k with confidence score as 0.916 and these are the nearest counterfactuals which is the data point 495 model 1 is predicting the class 1 with confidence score 0.567 while model 2 is also predicting class 1 so both the models are actually flipping the predictions and you can see these data points this is data point 9 with predictions as class 0 and this is data point 495 with prediction as class 1. Let's perform analysis for both of these counterfactuals. So their age is same. Yes, there is a change in the education level. So this makes sense. The data point 9 which has salary less than 50k has education only up to 7th and 8th while the data point 495 which has which has salary more than 50k has education up to some college there is also the difference in education number there is also the difference in r per week again there is a difference in the occupation the data point one where salary is less than 15 is performing the work of craft repair while data point two which is the counterfactual for this with salary more than 50k is is on managerial post all other attributes are same you can clearly see that these counterfactuals are making the sense and we can easily perform the analysis of our models through this what if tool you can change the metric for generating counterfactuals from l1 to l2 at present we are using manhattan distance by selecting l1 we can change it to including distance by selecting l2 so we can also generate partial dependence plot by selecting this option in this case we can see the inference score with respect to selected attribute so here we have two classifiers that's why we are getting two different lines and this is the relationship of age with respect to predicted score of the salary this is the relationship with respect to education the person having doctorate and master will have very high chance that they will earn more than 50k while if the education is less then the chances of getting 50k is very less so here we have two classifiers which are indicated in different colors we can easily perform the comparison of both the classifiers by using this what if tool this is the relationship on education numbers this is for r per week the model which is indicated in blue 
is actually giving more importance to hour per week as compared to model mentioned in red and if we are increasing the hour per week the inference score is or is also increasing more for model in blue as compared to model mentioned in red color so this way you can perform analysis of any input attribute with respect to inference score by generating partial dependence plot we can also perform performance and fairness analysis by selecting this particular tab here these are the confusion metrics for model 1 and model 2 you can also see their corresponding ROC curve and PR curve these are the details about false positive false negative accuracy and so on so we can use this interface to perform performance and fairness analysis of our models in order to perform analysis of features we can use third tab here it provides the details about each of our input feature we have attribute like age capital gain R per week and here we are getting the information about missing mean standard deviations minimum maximum values for each of the input attribute so you can clearly see that what if tool is very useful to perform comparison of both the classifiers by generating partial dependence plot or by generating counterfactuals we can perform performance and fairness analysis of both the classifiers and we can also see the details about our input features this is all about this demonstration i request all of you to please subscribe this youtube channel i have created few online udemy courses these are simplified approach to dbms learn sql in a simplified manner mastering plsql mastering machine learning genetic algorithm for machine learning and association mining for machine learning all these courses are available at udemy platform you can explore these courses to learn more on this i have also authored books on data mining and data warehousing dbms no sql beginning with sql and plsql for beginners all these books are available at amazon platform to read more on this you can refer my website pratikbatia.com thanks for watching this video